I have set up here some some things to, to demo you the how, how root play uh, works. Um, in the middle, I have the uh, our Raspberry Pi. Um, this is connected to via HDMI to an extra screen. That's that's a new feature, and I like to to show you this first. Um, my music is, is running here in the living room and if I like to, to see something on this screen I go there and click the screen icon here and next I see an entry it's called Chrome and I say display now that the way the, the room display works and you see um, then the, the beautiful artwork of, of rule is um, displayed on the screen. So what, what else do we have? I have here this this Apple uh, Super Drive, uh, this CD drive that is connected to my Ruix 10. Um, I have a USB stick because um, we can record the things that come from Ruik, from Ruik Play um, as flag files to the USB stick. And I also have the um, little deck ADC um, connected to Ruix 10, so we can see how this works. I don't have a turntable here. I, uh, this is my simulation of the turntable. So I have a, a little iPod here with, with some music on it that I will start later. And um, a cable where I can connect the iPod with the little ADC. What else do I have here? I have um, an iPhone here, so I can show you iPhone streaming. And this is a CD that I will inject, um, uh, insert in the in the Apple Super Drive to show you how CD playback works. And this is here the the Space Mouse. Uh, what I have connected that I can adjust the volume here for the first test. Of, of rule play, we go to to the extension rule play settings extensions, and uh, here you see rule play. Um, it tells you something that it's found a super drive and it found the Beringer UFO um, interface and it is licensed. You only see rule play if it is licensed. So if you don't see it. You have to enter here in the in the license manager uh, a valid uh, license key for for Ruplay. Well, let's start with the Ruplay. Um, when we go to the setting, um, what do we see? We first see the playback zone. That means where does the output of Ruplay go to? In, in which uh, listening zone? For for me, it's a uh, Wohnzimmer. That's uh, the living room of uh, in English. Then I can say what I like to play. So what we see here, I can say I play the audio interface and below here we have some, some audio test signals. This is quite a useful one, the channel check. And I select it because the, with, the, with this test you can see if your speakers are corrected the right way. Um, here you can can say how often you like to, to play this test. Um, just select, I, I leave it on one. And here you can uh, decide on which uh, sample rate your ADC runs when you when you get uh, audio from, from analog input. Okay, now happens something when I press save. You see, it has changed to Ruix 10, so this radio station starts. And I make it a bit louder. Left channel. Left channel. Channel check. Right channel. Yeah, you see, uh, this is what happened. So if you go to a replay and tell it what it shall play and press save, it plays this track we had started here with the with one of the the uh, audio test tracks that was the first demo test number two i like to show you how the cd playback works 
you must know you're not bound to that uh, Apple SuperDrive. I, I had one, so I used it, but you can use each CD-ROM uh, drive and, and connect it. Um, it is also stepped down in the, in the speed, the, the CD rotates so that you don't hear uh, too, much, too much noise. So what happens um, when I insert the CD? Um, so the CD got in and that takes the time now because um, this is CD has to be found out what it is and is it an audio CD and so on and so on and so on. And after a certain time, when all this is done, you see here, Ru Extend, Ru Play comes up again. And um, sometimes later, the CD starts playing. We hear that now. It's Chris Jones. Moonstuck. I love it. Okay. But we are not here for, for CD listening. Um, I go back here in my Ruplay extension. And if a, a CD is, is loaded in the drive, you have an additional um, line of uh, output here where you can say what you like to do with the CD. So you can say, hey, go to the next title. If you say save, this will be executed. It takes approximately 10 seconds because Rune buffers the audio, buffers 10 seconds of audio. And so after the next track comes up, you have to wait 10 seconds. During that time, I don't know if you saw that, uh, the, the speaker got, got muted. So we are in the second track. Well, uh, this can also be done with, with the previous track, but if you have one of our controls here are RU6D, the space mouse. You can use the, the previous and next buttons also to skip through the CD. If I press here the next button, chup, you see it got muted again. You have to wait for the 10 seconds. And after the 10 seconds, the next title will come up. So that's the next title now. I think you hear it, yeah? Yeah, if you if you uh, got enough, you just can press stop, and the CD uh, will be ejected. So that's quite automatic. Uh, you enter the CD and it plays. Uh, you press stop, and it gets back uh, out of the drive, and you can get forward, backward, to skip in the in the tracks. That's that simple. You you don't really have to to open the replay extension for that. So that was demo number two. Yes, we start with the demo number three. That is the, the iPhone uh, demo. Um, how does it how does it work? Uh, it's quite simple. Mm, on the iPhone, I, I first connect um, uh, here AirPlay to, to re-extend. If this got connected, mm, I can switch to, a, to an app that plays music. And I go here and press play. And you see, we all again have the change to the rule extend, rule play radio station. And we now hear, hear the radio. That is now streaming from the, from the iPhone. I can and stop here and um, it gets get muted because of the the 10 seconds delay because that's annoying yeah if i press stop and nothing happens so and but i, I can continue and um replay stays active during that time and 10 seconds later um the music will will play again you hear um on my uh, living room stereo so if I, I have enough I, I just stop it here and and nothing happens and um, I, I can also restart it if I press play again you see now I'm in the playback again and uh, 10 seconds later I will hear 
the music again. I like to show you this here. Um, what we have an audio uh, path. All input is streamed as, as FLAC um, and depending on what comes in, uh, we, we see here the, the different uh, bit, uh, bit rate and uh, the different uh, word width. Um, for CD it's always 4416, for, for uh, the radio also. But if you have a good ADC, uh, this can be 120, 192 uh, with 24 bits, for example. And, and what you see, what, what else happened here, and this is my, my room correction. Um, it's converted to 64 bits, it's converted to 96 kilohertz. Then I have the, the eight path uh, convolution filter, and then it, it goes to, to my uh, audio transport, and that's my Eddy2 Pro. At the at the end so you get it in really full quality so what what your source gives you if you insert a CD you really get it with 44 and 16 bit so this was our demo number three this is um, our last demo for uh, Ruplay what I have here is a, a little uh, USB memory stick um, because all what comes here in from my turntable or my, my simulation of a turntable I show you here uh, will be recorded as a FLAC file on here so you can use it afterwards. I put it in. Um, that's the first step. Uh, at input, uh, the, the settings of RuExtend also are saved on the stick, but I don't care about that. Um, next step. I will connect my, my cable. The, the box is switched to, to line input, yeah, because this is no phono. If you connect your turntable, you have to switch it in the other direction to phono. And um, here my simulated turntable uh, is equipped with a, a diastrate LP. You hear? So, and now I put it in here you hear nothing anymore well um, what to do I go to re replay say grab the audio interface with 48,048 kilohertz and say go and um, the famous 10 seconds later we have the green light coming up and diastrates is playing on my stereo in the in the living room. So this comes from this little um, iPod, my turntable simulation runs through the ABC through Ruix10 and was streamed to my to my uh, duck in my main stereo system. So when I press stop now, I can do it here with the space mouse too. Then you see here post-processing, flag file, unmounting, USB stick, and now I can plug it out. I do that. Here we are. And let's see what is what is on that USB stick. So well, here we go. Where is the drive? Oh, that's a, that, that's the the PC of my wife, yeah, and I have no idea. Ah, yes, it opened automatically. Here, look here. This is the the file that was uh, recorded. Uh, they, th these recordings are always uh, called recording, and with a with a long number. So this number always increases. So if you put in the second time and uh, grab the the second side of your LP, you you get a second file with with an increased. Uh, increased number and you also see on the on the USB stick here these uh, some files that are saved uh, from the settings uh, within Ruix10. I don't know if I can open it here on this um, on this PC. Ah yes here it is the file it plays that's that's great yeah? that's what we did grabbing our pseudo uh, turntable LP via this little box. Isn't it great? 
I think it's great. And um, I wish you have fun with it. Uh, we have also set up the, the license uh, in our um, cell codes shop. So you can buy it, um, burn a new SD card with a new Ruextend version 2.30 and have fun with it. One last word uh, in my main uh, setup in my living room. I don't need this box. Yeah, This is really a low cost thing that, that works, um, but it's not a high quality device. So I use my, my ADI2 from RME, not only as a DAC, but also as an ADC. And I have a real uh, phono amplifier before so that I get the quality I like to have. Thanks for listening. That was Ruplay. Have fun with it.